Hi guys, Ubit Gaming here, and today I've got a bit of a different video for you. This is going to be me showing you how to set up an Armor Free Epoch mod. This is going to be like a developer server sort of thing for you to mess about on, do some building. Like, let's jump into it. First of all, you are going to need to download four folders, and the four folders are this one here, which is the Armor Armor Free Epoch server mod. You're going to need to download Armor Free Epoch mod, the actual mod, you're going to need to download the DLL files and the TADST file folder, and all these will be in the description. Once you've downloaded them, you're going to want to go to Steam, go to Tools, type in Armor Free, it should bring up two, it should bring up Armor Free Tools and Armor Free Server. Download the Armor Free Server, that should download to your Steam. Steam, Steam apps, common, and then it should be in there. Um, and what you want to do is you want to decide where you want to save, where you want to put all your server fi uh, files. Which what I did was made a file folder in here called servers, and then you simply want to go to programs, Steam, Steam apps, common, uh, and then copy the Armor Free servers, the Armor Free server that you just downloaded over to wherever you're going to keep all your server stuff in my case it's in my c drive and a folder called servers so once you copy that you should have it inside here once that's done you want to open this up and you want to open up the dll files that you downloaded copy both so drag them into the armor free server folder once that's done you want to open up t-a-d-s-t open that up Drag the tadst.exe over to the Armor Free server, and do the same for the Armor Free Armor Free mod server. So the Epoch server fo folders are here. Open up the server install pack, and then drag all these folders into the Armor Free server lo lo location wherever you saved it. So if this um, tutorial is a bit sloppy guys, I'm not the best with tutorials and I've not got much time. So once that's downloaded, I mean once that's copied over should I say, you want to copy over the actual Epoch mod. Once you've copied that over, so open that up and copy this, drag this over into the Armor Free server folder. Once you've done that, you want to find the Epoch mod and you want to change it. Sometimes it has a, a capital E, change it to a lowercase e just to make sure so it's the same as the Epoch Hive. Once or once you've downloaded, copy them all, all over. You've got everything into your Armor Free server folder here, as I have. You want to open up the DB folder. In the DB folder, you should have four other folders. You want to open up the config folder, well, file, should I say, and you want to change the password to whatever you want to change it to. I put Black Ops there. You want to file, save, close that, go back. Go down to find the at epoch hive, open that up, and you should have loads of files in here. It's about eight folders, I mean files and a couple of folders. You want to open up the epoch server config and you want to change the, the wherever it says password, change it to the password you use on the last file that we just opened and changed the password on. So I've changed it here, there, and there. Um the next thing you want to do in this file uh, file is Tell this fi uh, file where your battle light is installed to. So go back to the server folder, scroll down to you see this SC folder, open that up, go to battle light, and it should bring up all this, all this stuff here, all, all, the, all the battle light stuff. On on this top bar here, you want to click this drop down menu and copy, copy the uh, location of this folder. Go back over to the epoch config. Uh, folder or file and paste it in here where it says battle eye path so paste it here I've, I've already done that so I'm not going to do it again now you can file and save that file um, once that's done I believe you're good to go nearly guys so now you can go back to the DB uh, folder and start the server so once that's done, that's loaded the database for you. Go back, scroll down. Before you launch the TADST, I would recommend launching launching the actual game because sometimes it says 
this game is already running, you can't. And, and you can't launch the game because it comes up, this game is already running. So once that's done, launch the game. That game is starting to launch now. So once that's launching, you want to go back to your Armour Free server folder. You want to launch T T A D S T. So launch that. That will bring up this uh, this lovely menu here. This is where you can do all the changes to your server. So here it says server name. Put your server name there. Password. That's the password to get in. Admin password. That's the password to be the admin and obviously ban people, kick people, and all that good stuff. Over here you can change players. So you can put max players, whatever you want to do. Uh, here you can change your port and stuff like that, but I'll just keep that the same. I don't touch none, none of this stuff. Come down here to where it says server file, double click that, and that will give the location of your armor free server. So, this uh tool here, right at, at the top, you'll see that it says there's a rules tab. Click, click on the rules tab, unclick voting enabled, Un unclick that. Normally, it's, it's ticked, Un untick it, tick these three ones here. Uh, go to the missions, tick Altes, Epoch Altes. Go to mods, click both the mods at Epoch and at Epoch Hive. Difficulty, you can change that to whatever you want. Performance, I don't really know a lot about, so I'm not going to change none of that. And script, server scripts, I don't know a lot about, so I'm not going to change that either. So once all that's done, you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. Click launch. Now that's going to bring up the Armor Free logo, and that is just simply launching your server for you. So once that's done, it should open up there, and this is your server box here. It tells you who's joining and all that, who's disconnected, the port, the game port, the Steam port, and all that good stuff. Sorry if I'm going too fast, but I've not got long, guys, so I want to get this tutorial out before I've got a shootout. Um, so once that's done, you should be able to go over to the game, go play, multiplayer, go to remote. The address should be, if you're playing it on your own computer, if you want to you run the server on your own computer and play on your computer, just, your IP should be 127.0.0.12302. Correct me if, if I'm wrong about that, but that's just IP that I always seem to use and it works. Click OK and it should bring up the server if everything's gone right. Double click on that, put the password in, whatever you did. Sometimes, oh shit, wrong password then. Sometimes, sometimes it asks you to re restart the game. I don't know why, but it's doing this lately, saying battle I ain't, ain't enabled. So once the game's restarted, if you have to restart your game, that, that is, you want to go to remote again, do what I said a minute ago, launch your server, join your server, put your password in, and it, everything should go nice and sweet now, hopefully. Yep, I'm in the server, as you see here, Scott, click OK should launch you into the server. As you're running the server off your own computer and playing off your own computer, if your computer is not an absolute beast, it is going to take quite a while to get into the actual server. But once you're in the server, it should run alright. As I'll show you in a second once I'm in. So as you see now, guys, I've just literally got into the server. It says select your agenda. I'm going to go to mail, loading in, and beautiful. We're actually in, in the game now. Enjoy the game, test out stuff, test out new mods and stuff. This is only a developer server. I might actually try and do a community server where people can, other people can join and stuff like that. This is just really like a server for you to mess about on, guys. Make sure you stay stay tuned to the channel because this is only only part one of two. I'm going to be doing an, an admin menu install, show you how to set it up and stuff like that, basically. So if you press F1, you get this beautiful menu here, and you can spawn stuff in. So it's just basically like an admin menu. I'll show you how to do that in the next episode. So till the next time guys, peace out.